Welcome back to Spirit Music Meetups. Mike Burris here, man of many hats. We're on uh, a dream that I had on December 6, 2020, the nature of God's callings versus the world's jobs. And this really set a lot of things into motion. We need some supermen who are willing to stand up for the truth. And I can only do so much and I have to work within the boundaries of the different platforms I'm on. So that's what I'm doing. So you'll have to connect to the link to get real details. And because uh, I have to censor myself, actually. So on December 6th, I woke up from a very disturbing dream. And it turns out to be about the donations page. You can go look at that page that I had planned the night before to work on. And God sure knows how to make straight and smooth your paths, which is what Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 says. In my dream, I was a new hire as an IT, that's information technology guy, in hydrology. Now, I've, I have a degree in hydrology. And I worked in IT, you'll see from my about page, uh, 15 years total experience in these two fields. I had my suit and tie on and was carrying my briefcase, the typical experience in a white collar corporations in the 1990s when I was working. I was escorted, uh, escorted in through security down a hall past a lot of cubicles and workers into a small break room with a coffee pot, one cheap hard plastic chair, and copy machine. I was told to wait there. I waited and waited and waited for almost an hour. I thought, what kind of company is this that they are not even ready for me on my start date? <laughs> wow. But then I thought, how many companies actually are? I've you know, been in a lot of companies. Almost every one I've worked with, at was missing some aspect of readiness like the left hand didn't know what the right hand was doing in some cases I sat around for a week doing busy work yes getting paid great big bucks while the left hand caught up with the right hand so somebody could actually tell me what I was supposed to be doing is that something my other IT friends have told me crazy stories with their companies and the vet and the VA which is totally inept. My job with the U.S. Bureau of Land Management was a joke. People just moved one stack of papers from one side of the desk to the other and collected a good paycheck and pension. <laughs> I saw that. Now, in my dream, I felt worse and worse about how I was being treated, and I was about to stand up and just walk out. I felt completely devalued as a human being. Then I woke up. The first thing I did was say, Lord, why did you, uh, did I have such a horrible dream? It was so demeaning and depressing. M most of my God dreams are really exhilarating. I asked, how does that have anything to do with my life now? I feel depressed. I, I'm sorry, I feel blessed to be working on this blog website, teaching my drum students. My IT and hydrology careers were 10 years or more ago or more ago. Why should I remember those days so long ago? I just laid there feeling depressed about all the years that I put up with so many demeaning people and literally impossible situations. So much pressure you can't believe. That's why they pay. They said, well, that's why we pay you the big bucks. I, I so stressed out. So, so many self-serving bosses and employees and so many manufactured crises that just stress people out literally to death. They literally, there's people I knew died, stress-related diseases. I laid there for 15 minutes wondering why I would have that dream now. You can see uh, from my about page, my story, I've had some long career paths and a lot of small jobs between to get money for several degrees, a house, I had so many cars, sports cars, and my share, a lot of recreation, love skiing, but partying, I was always partying. Well, I was about to leave the dream, a mystery, and, and get up and get on with my day. Then the Lord said, 
you will never have another job again. Oh boy, is this a long story? No. Well, I was shocked and worried. I said, I've never been without a job. I'm ne I need money. I have to work. And I've never been without a job. I've never applied for um, Social Security. What is it? Applied for unemployment compensation? Yeah. Bogus, man. Go next door and, and shovel some gravel. Uh, then he said, remember how many times I said that I wanted you to share something with me, whether it was, the, whether it was joy or creativity or exploration of drumming, the many colors of beautiful sunset, the comfort of sleeping in under warm covers on a cold morning, that was the Holy Spirit comforter, showing your yard, uh, showering your yard plants with water or feeding the birds in your backyard. He's showing me so many things about sharing, uh, which is fellowship. Remember I told you that I was sharing my love for, for truth and justice in law with my servants who were fighting in courts and before legislature, le legislative hearings, yeah, um, to expose a lot of things that were going on in 2020 that I can't talk about, but you can go read about them. And then I've shared this with thousands of witnesses. Yeah, he's all about sharing. He's shown this to a lot of people. Don't be afraid. I'm in control. Remember how I told you by sharing these things with me that the feelings you were feeling were a small fraction of my feelings that I have when I did and do and will again do those things. And that those feelings are not something separate from me. Those not thus not creations of mine, but are all facets of who I am, my nature, my identity. Go look at the identity page. They are like facets on the diamond that I am, like the subtle flavors of the complex singular fruit of the vine that I am, which is love, we find, Galatians 5.22, or the many exotic flavors in that soccer ball-sized grapefruit that you saw in the spirit one day that I said to take a bite of. Yes, remember what happened. You were filled with overwhelming unconditional love, then tears of joy, then incredible peace. And as the day went on, I showed you even more aspects of me, those flavors. Remember of life, this the flavors of the singular fruit. A tree is known by its singular fruit. Remember that I said, you feel them, you feel me. When you feel them, you feel me, because I'm sharing me with you in order that you will come closer to knowing me. That's experiential knowledge, gnosko, epigonosco, genuine experiential knowledge through relationship, not head knowledge that only puffs you up, Paul said, 1 Corinthians 8.1. You have already studied a lot about this genuine knowledge, and it's koinonia, sharing or partnership. When I tell you that you never have another job, it's not to depress or worry you, but to give you something much better. Me. Yes, you have always worked hard at every one of your jobs, but that is over now. Now, I got to tell you, since I wrote this, I've, I've struggled with this. I have so struggled with this, accepting this surrendering to this sometimes I go back and I try to I've been looking for jobs you know I, I try to go back and look for jobs I, it's just it's such a habit to break it's hard to let go and let God now I'm really starting to worry in this dream I said I actually need more students and gigs times are more uncertain than ever because of COVID-19 and all the stuff going on I can't talk about stuff going on at that time and I can talk about who knows what, what more chaos BLM and Antifa have in store for us to disrupt our economy. God gave me a lot of dreams about this. Who knows how much more aggressive uh, China, Iran, North Korea will be. Uh, there's, there's more and more signs. And I don't know how much more I can cut back to make things stretch before having to look for even more work. Well, since then, I've had to go look for more work. But the Lord, never it never came to fruition. I could not, no matter how hard I worked, I couldn't line it up. 
it just fell through at the last minute type stuff. So, so it's like the Lord saying, no, I told you, I told you. The Lord knows I've always had fears about not having enough, but he keeps working on me. Yep. Then he says, and he's given me a lot of revelation since, since then. And you, you want to look that up on the God page too, maybe. This is not, um, he says, it's always been about your work and your job. But that is over because I want you to share in my work, my job. And that's what's been hard for me to let go and surrender, dive in completely. This is not work I'm assigning or ordering you to do like so many bosses you have had. I've shown you before the demonic spirit of the taskmaster that whipped my people Israel for 400 years, cruelly whipping them to make more bricks with less. Haven't you seen that in almost every business? That love of money is the root of all evils? Yes, it says that. These are not more commandments, rules, regulations, and rituals to work on. That's religion. No, this is my work that I want to do inside and through you to help the others I unconditionally love and want to share myself with. I want to share my work with you so that you will know my feelings about it. To know his feelings about it. And then know me more genuinely. You will never learn this in a book. No matter what book it is, you can only learn this by doing it together with me. Yeah, he's told me this so many times. Wow, what do you, what do, you do with that? I said, I immediately understood many New Testament verses more deeply, like we are his workmanship created in Christ Jesus for great works, good works. It's literally God-like works, agathos, off the chart good works, God-like works, which God the Father prepared beforehand that we should walk in them. For it is God who work, routinely working in you, both to will, desire, and purpose, and to ongoingly do or work for the sake or benefit of his good pleasure or delight, equipping you with every good thing, everything good, that you may do his will, working in us that which is pleasing in his sight through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. And I suspect that it has something to do with an October declaration to me that's on my story, which was, you can look at my story, it says, you are, got a hair here, you are anointed musician who knows what it means to be filled by my spirit, who knows what it is to play by my spirit, and one day you will play in my courtyards with many others that I have chosen. So, yes, that declaration of my identity has really affected me since that day. Tonight, while deeply sharing in the sunset with the Lord, he said, Do you think I really need billions of angels to work for me to accomplish my will? Remember, with one thought and one word by my son, we created the universe. And I am still creating the same way. Do you think I really need Adam to name, I needed Adam to name all the animals in the garden? I made them all, so I certainly can name them all. No, I include others in my work so they can share in my feelings, so they can share in me. Wow. And I suspect, I also suspect, uh, this new job, this work, has something to do with the blog website, which he led me to create. But I found subsequently that I really get sidetracked on this blog website. I went down a lot of paths that he never really told me to go down. So that, that's been my regret. And uh, I did a lot of things he never told me to do. I just felt like they needed to be done. But neither of these will be anything like my old jobs because they will be completely new in kind, by definition of kindos. Far superior since they will be his jobs that he will, his work, 
that he will share with me do inside me and he wants to share this so you got to go look at new covenant ways and anointing and might and power and promised spirit pages for how new new <laughs> kainos and chadash means superior completely different in kind nothing like anything you've done before and that's what he was telling me it's not like anything and so it's been very unnerving I, I, I tell my prophetic friend Dylan I said I don't know what I'm doing I have never I don't I have no experience in this I have no idea what I'm doing Lord I have no idea and, and yet he says go out into the park and start declaring and so I got to go back to doing this I, I got away from doing this I got back in a Bible study never, never tells me to do Bible study he never does he never, not in one prophetic dream does he says go look stuff up in the Bible. I would uh, really be interested in hearing uh, your conversation with God about the nature of work, jobs, callings, and what ministry really is. I have a link called ministry, so uh, Body of Christ Ministry. So I'd like, I'd like to see what you guys have to say. God bless you. Bye-bye. Put that down below. And also on the page. Go look at the page because there's a lot more details about what we just talked about.